Isolation, it's the one gift from the good Lord most people do not want. During the 2020 COVID-19 global pandemic, our entire civilization has been in isolation. We see its effects daily in nursing homes, ER wards, and the unemployment lines, on bank statements, and most sadly, newspaper obituaries. Ours is what C.S. Lewis called a grief observed. But uniquely, this grief is being experienced in isolation, all alone. The social distancing, self-isolation, quarantine, hygiene protocols have not stopped the decimation brought upon communities, churches, small businesses, and major metropolitan areas. People are getting infected by the virus, and while some show no symptoms at all, others soon find themselves in a hospital ER on oxygen and a ventilator. Many never come off. The world watches on in a collective grief, but watches suspended in personal isolation. Although we may never know the origin of the viral contagion COVID-19, we do know from whence it originated. The first violation of safety standards occurred not in a lab in Wuhan, but in a garden somewhere in Iraq between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. From there, a serpent, later called Satan, infected Adam as patient zero with the deadly disease we call sin. The consequences of that act brought forth a viral set of contagions of various strains that infected the entire human race with a spiritual virus filled with physical, emotional, social, and spiritual consequences resulting in sure and certain death for all mankind. No one could stand up to the disease and there was no known cure. It all started there with Adam as patient zero and Eve as the first to receive the spread. Through them, we have all received sin's viral contagion and death is the grim result apart from a vaccine. Nothing mankind could do served as a vaccine to stem the continued spread of the virus. The curve continued to spike and the global infection rate neared 100%. Then Jesus entered the world as the God-man. And as God the Father's response to the human condition, he did not come dressed in a hazmat suit with an N95 mask and a protective shield, but wrapped in rags, lying in a manger. C.S. Lewis explains it best in saying, Jesus came into this world and became a man in order to spread to other men the kind of life he has, but what I call good infection. Every Christian is to become a little Christ. The whole purpose of being a Christian is simply nothing else. Jesus came that an antidote stronger than the virus could be ours through the vaccine of becoming one with Christ, a little Christ, receiving his good infection. This is the story of how Jesus takes away the bad infection and replaces it with himself as the good infection. It happens in isolation, but to bring the good infection to the entire human race. Through the story of Jesus and Lazarus, we find our own isolation is far more than merely a nuisance. We find that through Jesus' own isolation, that it's part of the cure. Through his own isolation, Jesus takes upon himself the sickness of us all. He absorbs it as his own. So this book is your invitation to join Jesus where sickness, death, grief, and isolation take center stage. Perhaps no other story in the life of Jesus speaks to our COVID-19 world like this one does in John 11. Unimaginable moments of grief lie ahead for every believer. It's an unavoidable part of Christian living. But that said, we need to live in that space well as the world observes our isolation and our grief. But we live in that space also knowing that in Jesus, our grief has been more than observed. It has been absorbed into himself. Jesus has borne our sorrows and carried our grief. And only through him do we discover a sense of healing and hope. May this book, Jesus in Isolation, help you spread the good infection as well. God bless.